Here we are on the 9th of January, particularly balmy time of year at the moment, it's ridiculous in comparison to last year. Uh, but we're making the most of the ground conditions, it's lovely and dry, and uh, we're right up on the top of the hill, this is a field called New England, and um, it's winter barley, Cassata, headed for Molson Coors to make their carling later on, and Derek's out here applying some triple superphosphate, which was like a base fertiliser, helps with rooting and things like that, and um, we've got the 7830 on with a KRM Breedle spreader, it's spreading at 36 metres, which means I'm probably just going to get covered in a minute. So bear with me, and um, we're putting it on uh, with the variable rate equipment. So at the moment in this part of the field, Derek's putting it on at about 126 kilos a hectare, and at the far end of the field where he's heading now, it'll be putting it on uh, near about 170, I think, something like that. And uh, that's GPS guided from soil maps. So the satellite knows where the tractor is, and then the tractor can then put the a rate of fertiliser on that it's been given a prescription to apply depending on where it is within the field. And just while we're here, um, there's a little area there, a little divot in there, that's a little over, over overnight accommodation for some brown hares. There's one there and there's another one there as well. So plenty of wildlife up here today. Um, it's a lovely spring-like afternoon. Um, just in the background there, just on the edge of the quarry, in front of those trees, we've got an area of pollen and nectar. There's also a skylark plot there. And then as you can see, it's quite a, quite a sort of a barren landscape. So it's good to have these environmental features that can try and break up the field and create little corridors and uh, access points for our wildlife to be able to move around on.